If you are a seasoned software engineer, you may have heard about bike shedding. Or not, it's not used that often. But do you know exactly what it refers to? Could you use it yourself? Is it part of your programmer's lingo? Let's take a look at what bike shedding is and how you would use it or not. Cyril Northcote Parkinson made the argument in his book in 1957 that people within an organization give disproportionate weight to trivial issues. It's nowadays known as the law of triviality. This is nothing about software engineering yet. This is a general concept. And when Cyril wrote his book, he invented many laws, but all of them were applicable to mainly bureaucracy and public administration. The law of triviality got into software engineering because of one email to a FreeBSD mailing list, where somebody was basically using the concept uh, to explain, hey, we're paying attention to the wrong things this is trivial, why are we giving disproportionate attention to trivial things? Let's take a look at the email. You can find it on bikeshed.org. This happened in 99. Uh, there is a section on it. He says that if you have a board of directors and they need to give approval for a multi-million or billion dollar atomic power plant, this is doable. But if you want to build a bike shed, then you will, tangled, will be tangled up in endless discussions. Parkinson explains that because this atomic power plant, this nuclear power plant, is so complex, so extensive, so vast, and so difficult to reason about, that people will assume other people will have thought about it, and maybe it's too difficult for them, they will not have an opinion on it. Whereas if you look at the bike shed, everybody can build a bike shed, everybody can have an opinion on it. So those opinions will be made heard on the bike shed, but not on the actual important stuff. The trivial thing here is the bike shed. Now this email was sent to this mailing list because he noticed that there were many tiny things that people spent a lot of attention to. So imagine a very small pull request that got a hundred comments. That's really a trivial thing. That's, that's the bike shed that everybody wants to discuss the color of the bike shed. That's what the original analogy is for. Everybody can have an opinion on the bike shed. But the moment there are at the same time these massive issues, which was the case in the FreeBSD community back then, and they're not paying attention to that, then you're clearly dividing your attention in a wrong way. And it also highlights the fact that you don't know uh, enough about the important stuff here. These big issues, that's what we should focus on. But people tend to gravitate towards these trivial issues instead. And that's not where we want to be. Setting aside that this is human nature that's difficult to fight, this could indicate a problem that people know too little about the big important issues here. They may not have the expertise required to be active and effective in the field. Maybe this goes for more people as well, maybe it goes for you. Are you paying attention in your code reviews to the separation of concerns, the interfaces and the coupling? or? Do you not do that because you're too insecure about your own opinion about these concepts? And are you therefore talking about readability in code reviews? I think this has happened to a lot of people in their careers. So bike shedding is wasting time on trivial issues. It is spending your energy and your time on the wrong thing. Take Maslow's pyramid of code, for example. Imagine that you are having a discussion about readability while you have not discussed the correctness layer yet. This is bike shedding because you're spending time on the wrong thing. The idea of this pyramid is that you go from bottom to top. Each of these layers requires the next one. You must do correctness before you go to secure, before you go to readability and so forth. This is what this is about. When others do this to you, you are allowed to call them out for it. Imagine you are writing some code and somebody else is doing the code review or your pair programming, you are the driver and the navigator has some feedback for you. If this feedback is a readability issue, for example, then you are allowed to say to them, hey, I think this is a readability issue that you're coming up with now and I think we're not yet done with the correctness layer. We should talk about this first, right? It's more important than the readability now. Let's go from most important to least important, okay? Or you could actually talk to them about the Maslow's pyramid of code and agree that you should always go from bottom to top and then the problem should slowly disappear because you have agreed on a workflow. My challenge to you is to take a hard look at yourself and to see if you can think of the last example where you did some bike shedding. Maybe go through the last 10 code reviews that you did, read through all the remarks and see what you would want to do differently now. These readability remarks are not wrong. They're just maybe in a completely different order. 
because if you need to rewrite half the code because it's not correct, then all these readability marks could be thrown away. So that's why there is an order to it. Let me know in the comments what you found. That's it. I hope you liked it. I hope this resonates with you. Let me know in the comments and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.